As the days passed, Merida's bravery and archery skills proved invaluable. Together, they faced a fearsome bear named Mordu, a reflection of the destructive power of pride and anger. In a climactic battle, Merida and Eleanor triumphed over Mordu, but the true test was mending their relationship. Throughout their adventure, Merida's bravery and archery skills proved invaluable. Together, they faced mythical creatures, navigated treacherous terrain, and learned to understand and appreciate each other's perspectives. Their bond grew stronger with every challenge they faced. Amidst the perils of their journey, Merida met a Viking prince named Hiccup, who had been exploring the highlands. Hiccup was known for his intelligence, courage, and an equally strong spirit of adventure. The two kindred spirits found solace in each other's company and quickly became friends. Hiccup offered his unique insights and assistance in helping Merida and her mother reverse the spell. As they worked together, Merida and Hiccup's friendship deepened into a powerful connection that neither of them had expected. As they stood together beneath the shimmering northern lights, Merida and Eleanor embraced their unique strengths and differences, united in their love for each other and the kingdom they cherished. In the end, Merida discovered that her mother's intentions were always rooted in love and protection. Eleanor, in bare form, learned to appreciate Merida's independence and free spirit. With the help of the witch, they broke the spell, and Eleanor returned to her human form. The experience had transformed both mother and daughter. Merida now understood the weight of responsibility that came with being a queen, and Eleanor recognized the importance of allowing her daughter to forge her own destiny. And so, the tale of Princess Merida, her adventurous spirit, and the unbreakable love she shared with her mother, Queen Eleanor, became a legendary story of courage, self-discovery, and the enduring power of love, proving that love could be found not only in the arms of a prince but also within the heart of a family.